promised you in a previous video that I would give you the hash brown uh, egg muffin cups and then I didn't do it on that video. So I did it already. I uploaded it last night. You got to do it. It's two points of absolute heaven. Okay. Now I want you to look down on the little corner down here, or maybe it's over here and hit that subscribe button so that you always know when my stuff is getting uploaded because I'll tell you what, it's worth it. Now, <clears throat> at 53 years of age, I don't have very many virgin experiences. Um, you know, I'm old. So when I have an opportunity to experience something for the first time, um, I, I rather relish it, you know, and I'm gonna share my experience with you. As you saw on my grocery haul, I purchased one of these. And not very long ago, I purchased one of these. It's an air fryer. So tonight I'm going to make pork loin with red pepper sauce. The red pepper sauce is made from fire roasted peppers and I've already filmed that so I can show you how it's done. And then it's, it has Greek yogurt and it has um, some onions, which you cook it all yummily, and then you put it in the blender and you blend it all up so it's a nice little sauce. And you serve it over this wonderful pork loin. Now, here is the, the trick when you're cooking any kind of meat. My mother taught me this, and it's the most powerful and wonderful trick in the world of meat cooking. You take your cut of meat and you season it till you think that's the right seasoning salt, pepper, you know, herbs, whatever you want to put on it. And then you do it again. So you double it. So it looks like it may have a ton of salt and whatever on it. But let me just tell you, it makes the flavor of the meat much more rich and delicious. So that's my secret I'm teaching you today. Good secret. Season it the way you want to. And then double it. And you will have Yama Lama Ding Dong Meat. I'm telling ya, it's good. I got the so, pork tenderloin out. I have my air fryer basket out. I've put some parchment in the bottom of it just for kicks and giggles. And then in this dish, I've put some salt, some pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and you know, you can put whatever else you want in there. That's all I want for this particular meal. So let me show you what's gonna happen. You dry it off first. You don't need all that liquid on there. You just don't need it, okay? Okay, that's dry. That's a God bless America moment, it's dry. Now, I'm gonna take some of this and spread it on my cutting board, and quite heavily. Now I'm gonna put this on there, and then roll it around, give it a chance, to absorb that into the meat. I'll do the same thing for this side. I was unaware that the roast came in two pieces, but that's okay, we're all good. Okay, now that's a really generous amount. So you can see that on there. Didn't quite get the ends. And that's about right. That's about twice of what you'd think you'd put on there. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And the same thing over here. Roll it over. Now look at that. <clears throat> now this is gonna be a perfectly seasoned chunk o pork. Now, the instructions that I have for a two pound pork tenderloin in my air fryer is to cook it at 370 degrees for 55 minutes. I'm gonna put a meat thermometer in the thickest part of the meat, which is right here. And I'm going to um, I'm going to make sure that that's a good solid 160 before I take it out. Then after it's out of the air fryer, you cover it with foil and you keep it covered so that all the juices can be retained inside the roast. Um, so I'll go ahead and put this in there. Put it in two places. I like this. I'm gonna get my meat thermometer and I'm gonna put it in right here into the thickest part of the meat and tuck it down in there. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my air fryer, just like that. I'm gonna turn it to 300, well that's about 360 to 60, so 370 degrees. 
and they said for 50 minutes, but I'm going to turn it into 25 so that after 25 minutes in the air fryer, I can flip them over so we get a nice even toast on it. I'll show you what it looks like in 25 minutes. Here we go, 25 minutes is over, and look at that. I'm going to take this out so I can turn it all over because it's hotter than Hades. I'm gonna flip it over. Both of them. Oops, hello. Okay, so I got the meat thermometer back in there. This time, I'm only gonna do it for about 15 minutes because we're right now sitting at 142 degrees and we only need to get to 160. I'll keep my eye on it, but it's looking good. The next part of this recipe is that we are gonna fire roast our peppers. There are several ways that you can do this. I am choosing to do it on, your, on my cooktop. Now you can do it in your oven just fine, but I prefer it over an open flame. Here we go. As soon as they're blackened as much as you'd like, you place them in a plastic bag and zip it closed and keep it there until it is nice and cool. Then the black parts will just peel right off and you've got this wonderful full bodied pepper that you can add to any recipe and make it wonderful. Okay, so to make the red pepper sauce, we need onions, which are right here. Just one onion, chopped. Doesn't have to be finely chopped because you're gonna blend it later. And then right here, about seven ounces of roasted red peppers. You cook those together until they're softened, and we'll come back after that happens. Now that this is cooked down, you're gonna add one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. I know, it's decadent. And you're just gonna stir this up in there until it's bubbly and heat it through. Now that it's all heated through, we're going to take this concoction and put it in a food processor. You can do it in a blender as well. And it'll work just fine. And then here's where the true magic happens. You're going to add an ounce and a half of Hidden Valley Ranch Dressing Mix. Dum. Then we're just going to put on the lid. Oops, wrong one. And then we're going to pulse it. Okay, now we'll wait until the pork is done. Okay, so this is it. It ended up taking at 370 degrees another 10 minutes. So it was a total of 35 minutes to reach the internal temperature of 160 degrees. I let it rest for about 15 minutes and now I'm going to try it. Actually, my husband's gonna try it. Here's the red, pe red pepper sauce right here. We're gonna just put some of this right on the meat. And then my husband's gonna take it and taste it. You're a trusting soul. <laughs> It looks pretty moist. Mm -hmm. Red pepper. Mm. Red pepper sauce. I'm a wimp. That's like it's not hot. Uh -huh. It's sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Good enough. You not want another bite? No, I've got, I'm, I'm just making sure nobody else has to eat this. <laughs> good. Yummy.